freaking crap. How much longer am I going to have my job? And, uh, you know, it was about two weeks <laughs> that I had my job, you know. So it's, uh, you know, when they tell you with about a three-hour notice that, you know, your whole industry is getting ready to collapse, you know, it's, uh, it's a bit, bit, bit of a big pill to swallow. You know, I mean, so what's interesting is, is like the, you know, after living and breathing running restaurants for, you know, 15, 20 years, I had the fortunate, I'd been fortunate enough to find a uh, position with Hyde Park Group and I was their director of concept development. So my job was really about building, designing, growing, turning over the keys to operations and moving on to the next store and getting ready to build another store. So, you know, the opening and closing of the dining rooms didn't impact my day to day, except whenever you close the businesses and my day to day was calling up, canceling the projects I had on the books, you know, and then trying to figure out where I can help out to, you know, get these stores ready to close down for a short period of time or whatever the period of time was. So, you know, I never really got to see and breathe the reopening. I only got to see and breathe the closing. So when you look at, when you look at the guidelines they put into place, when you look at, you know, the restrictions and the limitations and how they recommended we take care of our staff and we take care of our guests. Um, you know, I think it's, I think everyone's just kind of shooting in the dark, especially there in the beginning where we really, you know, uh, it was spread by air, it was spread by touch, it was spread by, you know, aliens that come down in the middle of the night and take the one sock out of the dryer. You know, there was nothing you know, nobody knew what to do, nobody knew what to say. So, you know, luckily, I think here in Ohio especially, you know, I think DeWine did a great job with, you know, listening to the experts, you know, leaning on the experts and then trying to make a judgment of, you know, that balance. But, you know, <clears throat> I, I just, I don't see how you can put people in a closed, confined space and not layer on some protection. So. You know, mask in the restaurants, um, you know, sanitization out the wazoo, all that stuff is, you know, beyond needed just to, just to try to keep everybody safe. So, you know, is it enough? Who knows? You know, is it too much? Who knows? I know that, um, I know that they were working really hard to to bring, I mean, just like everybody. I mean, they were working really, really hard to bring back as many as they possibly could and still survive through this. I mean, they are, they're brilliant restaurant people. I mean, they, they produce a great product. They, um, their services, you know, I mean, it's freaking stellar. And, um, and it takes staff members to do that, even at low numbers. So I don't know what their current sales are. I don't know what they brought back, but you know, to know that you know, to know their heart and soul, you know, I mean, it was there were tears shed whenever you know everyone had to get laid off. You know, I mean, it was a it was an emotional time because you know, like most of us, they're very invested in their people, you know, and you know, it's uh, it freaking sucks. You know, not all landlords played ball. Not all landlords had the room to play ball, right? Um, I mean, you still have bills coming in and you still had 30 days worth of bills to pay. I mean, if you run 30 days out, you know, are you gonna, you know, screw the 800 freaking people down the line behind you at, you know, your fishmonger and your produce guy and your baker and blah, 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 and you know, 
that ripple effect is just, I mean, unending, right? So um, I think to get a trickle of income back, you know, whether you're at 40% of last year or 60%, I mean, I've talked to, talked to everybody who's for anywhere from 30% over last year or 30% off last year up to 90% of last year. And, you know, I guess the, the, the number game you try to play is, you know, number one, what's your risk? You know, what's your version of risk on, you know, staff and, and health and all that jazz and how well can you protect them? But when it comes to finances, you know, if you can bring in $100,000 this month and only lose 20, it's better than bringing in zero and losing 30, right? So, you know, I mean, these other people don't have, you know, infinite margin to, to just, you know, cancel your rent until the world's back to the, together or whatnot. So. Look, we work, in, we work in the restaurant world because, you know, many of us love instant gratification. And, you know, to, uh, you know, to walk in at, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning and check in your orders and work on tonight's special and produce some food and by six o'clock people are happy and, you know, and smiling and eating your food. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, what do architects wait a year for their projects to be finished, you know? I mean, some wait two years for their projects to be finished, you know? We get to wait six hours, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, and just psychologically, I mean, you know, it's hard to be out of work. I mean, it's really, you know, to be a middle-aged, middle-aged person that, you know, is used to working, man, you can only clean out the closet so often, right? And then you're done. And you look at it and you're like, wow, that looks really good. I can't do it again. So. So when you look at the original PPP loan program, you know, they gave you like three days to spend all the money. And, you know, after that, it was going to turn into a loan that was due in two years. You know, not exactly that bad, but, you know, it was ridiculous. You know, and then they extended it, what, 24 weeks or something like that. And, you know, that gave people the breathing room. I mean, I talked to one guy, he's got, I talked to one guy, he's got uh, probably seven restaurants, you know, in the area. And until they changed to 24 weeks, they weren't doing anything, you know, because they knew they couldn't spend it fast enough, then it was going to turn into a loan and a 24 month amortization on, you know, I think the guy got, you know, couple of hundred thousand bucks but that's you know that's that ten thousand dollars a month that's a that's a big nut you know so when they changed that I think that really gave people the breathing room to really assess the restaurants and assess what they could do and how they could do it um, unfortunately I think people are gonna run out of that money or have already run out of that money and are gonna have to start standing on their own two feet and I think there's going to be a massive threshing and it's not going to be pretty. So, you know, I, I think us restaurant people are creatures of habits. I think all of us are creatures of habits. You know, humans are like rubber bands. We want to, we want to get back to right where we started, right? Um, I don't, I don't think if you continue to operate the way you've operated for the last three years, five years, 20 years, whatever, however long you've been doing it, if you continue to go down that road the way you normally have, there will be no more road for you. You know, the public is giving us a lot of grace. I mean, their, their willingness to order takeout at, you know, a $60 check average place is boggles my mind, right? But there's a lot of them doing it because they know that the sales are needed, you know? So public's giving us grace, you know, trimming out your menus, you know, unfortunately, trimming out the menu to match the labor that you can afford with the sales you're doing right now, because I'm a little bit at a loss on how to increase sales in the middle of this. Unless you can create new revenue streams, be it through takeout or, you know, meal kits or, you know, wine at retail prices, whatever you can do to 
to bring in more money allows you to keep that labor. But without it, when the PPP money's gone and you're still spending at your old rate, I don't know where it's coming from. So, you know, luckily here in Ohio, our patio season lasts about three weeks, you know, um, and we've already burned about four of those three weeks. So, you know, I, I, the, only, the only hope that I have is the fact that when your patio closes, so has everybody else's patio. The, the downside is going to be is there are people that won't go inside of the restaurant. They wait for the host to come out to the patio to seat them on the patio, and they don't even walk inside. And I respect that, and I get that. But in two and a half months, a month, you know, maybe next week, when the patios are closed because it's snowing, um, you know, are they going to stop going out to dinner? And are we going to lose those seats? And I think that's a, it's going to be a hard, hard couple of months. You know, I'm really afraid of January, February, March this year. Normally, you, you know what's coming. It sucks. You know, you're paying December's bills with January money, but this year's going to be abnormally 